Hey, welcome to Datum Speed Studios. So we need a prosthetic for an upcoming short film. Uh, it's the first one that we're doing that isn't plain old traditional horror. It's a sort of horror drama. Someone gets hucked through a car window and we need a prosthetic for that. So anyways, let's get started. So like usual, I'm using this life cast I did of myself a couple years back. I really recommend using a life cast of your actor, but this is all I have. I'm using soft monster clay that I heated in the microwave to start blocking out the shape. I want it to be pretty big, so I'm doing both the cheek and the forehead. I added way too much clay, but I don't want this to be a thick prosthetic, so I just used my fingernails to scratch out a lot of the extra and then just smoothed it back out. The thing I love about oil-based clay is if it ever gets too stiff, you can just heat it up with a hairdryer or a heat gun if you're fancy. This lets you choose whatever consistency you like to work at. Next, I'm using an X-Acto knife to cut out some chunks in a sort of ripped or torn pattern. I'm trying to keep the starting point of them where the face would hit the road, aka the high points, cheekbone, chin, and brow. Now before I actually started sculpting, I added a little bit of Vaseline to the cast to make sure that I would be able to lift the clay out of these areas. I do add some smaller ones in other areas, where maybe a rock was jutting out and able to cut her. Then I made the surface uneven by using my fingernail to scratch out some areas, and then melting it to smooth it back out a little bit. I'm using a cigar lighter because I tend to get a little bit more control with that, but a hairdryer works fine if you don't have one. Then I'm using a clothespin to add scratches, but later I just use the X-Acto knife because that is way better for that. And then as you can see here, I'm taking little balls of clay and pressing those into the gaps, which I can shape with the X-Acto knife and the cigar lighter to create this really nice, weird, gruesome texture. A good way to add some texture to the skin is by melting the surface and then using your finger to pat it repeatedly. Then I'm taking the X-Acto knife and adding some scratches to the skin. Make sure they're all generally going in the same direction to mimic gravel rash. When you scratch into the clay, you usually create a lip or a peak around where you dig in, which you don't really want. So I'm just using my fingers to try to knock it back. Then I'm melting some clay and dipping my finger in it and patting that down in some areas before it cools, just to add some more texture. A oh, word of advice, it's hot. Ow! Then I'm just gonna look over the sculpture one more time looking for any lips from scratches that I missed. If I find one, I use the back of my fingernail to gently remove the highlights. And with that, I'm pretty much done. 